Happy Friday, everybody. We're at this uh, this job today, and uh, it's a small damp roofing job. Excuse my white beard. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do the new fast system by Safeguard. I'm going to show you how quick it is. I'm going to leap camera running as it. I'm going to knock it off. Um, and I'm going to try and explain what I'm doing as I'm going along because a lot of people um, are sceptical about this system but we've had no complaints um, there's a lot of people using it now um, it's getting more and more popular in, uh, in damp industry because it's quick and uh, you can get you can get it done in a day especially for little small areas like this which is it's just ideal um, outside outside here they've got a a bridge damp course uh, path's been put higher than the uh, physical damp course and rainwater's been splashing back they've had cavity wall insulation fitted in its bridging so there's a few different issues going on we 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 put some storm dry outside we're going to drill a, a, a new DPC above um, above drive, block paved drive. It's going to be minimum 150 front ground. And I'm going to, there's, there's a whole inflow of, I've done a bit of prep already, which is sort of sheeting up and stuff. But I just want you to see how quick this system is. Um, people with a bit of knowledge will be able to use it. And uh, if you've got any questions about it, just just let me know. But I'm just going to leave it running. Hopefully, we've got <laughs> enough battery to to last um, a better way with customers. They're, they're, they're okay with it. Um, well, this made us a cup of tea. Cheers. So I'm just going to get cracking. I'm going to show you what what we do. I fetched a, a board up from home, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Here we go. Watch and learn. So believe it or not, this board was well, in my garage. And uh, <clears throat> I thought, oh, it, it, looks, it looks big enough. Look at that. Eh? Lottery tickets and eat. That, that is, look at Irish. That's look at Irish, that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this board on. Around about a metre, and I'm going to mark it like thus. And I'm going to mark it down here. So that's my board. So I've got the other one here, which is going to be for nib, and that's going to fit on there. So I'm just marking that across there, so I know where to cut. So I'm going to move these out of the way. And I'm going to stick my PPE on. I've got my drill set up already, so I'm, I'm just saving a bit of time. So here we go. I'm going to shut this door here. And it just going down. Shut this door. I'll keep that door open just to... Just a little bit of air in. PPE! PPE! It's easy as ABC! So that's my song. There you go. Industrial type there. But like you said, Flip that onto there. There we go. So I'm going to tech. And I always start, I always tech a little bit off at bottom first. Take about that much off at bottom. Because then when you tech rested it off, if you don't take that bit off at bottom, that'll fall down and you can't get to it. So it'll be like there. Can't get to it. So take that off first and round. And then you're on your way.
cut the paper so it's a nice straight line. So just in case you've not realised, that's rising damp, so you've got like a salt band on bottom. So this is where it salts are. That's salts, nitrates and somewhere else. Anyway, so. Chlorides, <laughs> nitrates and chlorides. Lost it then for a minute. So, rising damp rises up through joints, through joints of brickwork. Here, look, across the air up here. And when, when the, uh, when the moisture is evaporating out at wall, salts from the ground get left deposited on the plaster as it evaporates, as the moisture evaporates out. A bit like your old um, school um, experiments. We used to put salt solution in a beaker and heat it up, the water would evaporate and then the salt were left inside. And that's exactly what happens on here. The moisture rises up through the joints Evaporates out, salts get deposited on wall, and the hygroscopic so they absorb moisture and leave a wet patch. So for all you non-believers, that's what rising damp uh, looks like on a bridge damp course. Right, let's get it off.
lift that off. So we'll have to just get that up, Jim. Great bag steel the second time, these. Couple of old balls.
So next step, we've got it cleaned up in the sorts, and uh, I'm going to put salt neutralizer on now, so it'll soak in in time for me to put that on while I'm drilling it. So this is salt neutralizing cream. Uh, this is made by Safeguard, and it comes. It's like a. It's it's similar to. It's similar to damp proofing creams that, that you can get. Um, it's a different makeup, but this uh, basically stops, uh, these salts, what's, what's on brickwork, this will stop them from, one, one of actions that stops them from coming through. So, um, right, so, all it does is you just paint it on, and as you're doing this as well, it, it gets dust off the surface, so you can brush wall down with, with a sweeping brush, just to get all the debris off. But it's really easy to apply. It's a, like a buttery, melted butter consistency. Once I've done this, I'm gonna straight away. I'm gonna uh, drill and inject it. You can see how quick it is. This is about a meter, a meter and a half. If you count this nib round the corner. Not much mess either, you can see it's not, there's none going forward. 